and you need to look at this pile of cards. Let's spread it all on the table. You have to think about one single card. Let's see if it's, oh my God. Okay, let's try again. I need you to look at this pile of cards. Now think about one single card in the deck. I will now spread it all on the table. You will think about your card and meanwhile we will pick the seven of diamonds. And if this is the card you chose, I am extremely lucky because there was no planned trick and I just trolled you for uh, 30 seconds or so right now. With that said, let's get to the video. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I wearing this t-shirt? Well, that's because today is a good day and that is the day we solved the Houdini torture cell. This puzzle was being sold at more than $500 in auctions. It was made by Mr. Puzzle Australia, which is Brian Young, one of the best puzzle makers in the world, period. And lately they've decided to reproduce the same puzzle in a brass version, fully available to anyone in the world in mass production. This puzzle from being $500 per puzzle became $30 per puzzle which is one of the best prices you could have for this puzzle. The puzzle is a sequential discovery puzzle and the goal is to remove Houdini from the torture cell. I'm 100% sure you will enjoy this puzzle hopefully by when this video airs it is available on Puzzle Master. If not I'll put a link in the description and believe me you should get this puzzle and if you didn't solve it yet and you want to solve it, solve it before watching the video. I assure you it's worth it. It's just amazing the fact that this is a small sequential discovery puzzle makes it on par with one of the best sequential discovery puzzles for beginners which is the brass cannon. Now this one is a bit more difficult I would rate it a level 8 or 9 out of 10. The machining, the puzzle itself, the process, it's all just so good. But I think words won't do justice to this puzzle and instead let's start solving it right now. The object of the puzzle is to free Houdini from the torture cell. To do that, you'll have to discover tools and work out how to use them. There are a lot of magnets in the puzzle, but no hitting or banging is necessary to solve it. There's a tool to discover for every aspect of the solve, no external tools needed. Let's open this up. I never thought I will be able to solve this puzzle and being able to do it on the channel is even better. Bam, that's it. We don't want that, that's the solution. Look at this, for the price, it's so worth it. It's insane, I only paid I think $30 for this. Insane quality for the price, insane. This is brass, usually you pay a lot for brass puzzles, a lot. So super awesome, let's put the pad here for some contrast. Bam, I think this looks amazing now. Let's start the timer. So basically I need to free Houdini from his cell. Let's see. Okay, I already can see that I can spin this. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, we've got the first tool. Let's see if there's, yeah, okay, there's a magnet here. So we found a magnet. Let's see what we can do with this magnet here. Huh. Okay, we can magnetize this. Ooh, perhaps one of the screws can get magnetized out and then we can remove one of them. Let's see. So no. Here is also one magnet. I'm interested to see maybe there's another type of magnet inside because this is one magnet as you can see. You can easily see this. One magnet inside this, but maybe there's one more. Let's see if maybe I can remove one of the screws here or maybe spin. Oh, now I spin this. This is going out. Let's go. Oh, nice. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. Now this hole here is going all the way inside. I wonder what I can do with this. What about blowing it? <laughs> Look, it just got foggy inside, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks like I can remove somehow this large pole. I don't know if I can spin this. I may need to spin some of the bolts. I don't think this is magnetized. Oh, there's actually a magnet in this as well. Okay, so let's try to remove one of the screws. Okay, doesn't work. So there are two magnets here. Why do I need two magnets like this? Let's see. So, ooh, maybe the back side of this can be somehow removed as well. Either removed or, huh, maybe you can remove this. 
that's interesting. So why would I need to remove this from here if it's just a magnet? Maybe I can get everything out? No. Pulling on this doesn't help me. So magnet. Oh, two magnets here. So one here. Interesting. Trying to lead the ball into the hole here, which I don't think will do anything. Wait a minute. No. The longer a rod inside it looks like a person, the ball on it, on top, has a small hole inside. It's not a hole, it's more of a, a small bump that goes into the ball. So I'm thinking maybe if the small ball can get on top of it, maybe I can do something with this. But it doesn't make too much sense. I'll have to work this out somehow. This one. Nope. Okay, let's see if there's any more magnets inside this thing. There's basically this one, which is obvious. This thing is so large and still there's only one tool out of this huge brass tool, which seems weird. Trying to maybe spin this to one of the directions. Maybe this, maybe I can spin this somehow. Pull this all the way in and start spinning. No, it doesn't seem to work. I think it just damages the small tool here. Oh, that is nice. I don't think you saw that because it's black, but this basically just got out. So a tool was hiding inside the tool, very sneaky. Now I can put this all the way inside, just like this. And I think what I should actually do is to spin it all the way. This is gonna be cool. I have a feeling this is a very cool move. I'm moving the metal ball inside to the screw, which is magnetic, as you know. So here I'm using some dexterity. How will I do that, though? Drop it like this. I will use th this magnet to drop it in a, in a good way. Hmm. Huh. It doesn't work for some. Oh, okay. Here, I think, I think I'm close to hooking it up. Bam. Okay, it's on it. It's on it. You can see it's it's on. Oh no! It fell. Bam. It's on it. And bam. I'm screwing this inside as far as I can and now look at this look at this now we join them all and now I'm gonna spin it spin it and this is pushing oh my god I'm pushing this I'm pushing the cap bam and this is out this was holy this is insane look at all these magnets guys Look at this, for only 30 bucks, insane, just insane. And, ah, bam. And we freed Houdini from the torture cell. That was an amazing puzzle, guys. Wow, just have to get a hold of this. It's stuck here. <laughs> Bo, what you doing, man? Stop this. <laughs> here we go and Houdini is freed and the puzzle is solved in eight minutes. This was a fantastic solution. This is like an epic sequential discovery because it uses the space so well. So many tools are being used in an amazing way and the reset is also super easy. Like to reset this puzzle, all you need to do is to drop the ball inside and take this thing and put it back. Four tools in one small puzzle. Super cool solution. I believe this can even take more time for people not familiar with techniques like this. But man, oh man, I have to say the build quality is fantastic and I'm so happy to have tried this puzzle. Yeah, you can see here 
the ball is hitting this. They are held so tightly together, which is super cool. The addition of a magnet here is also super amazing. Not sure if there's a magnet actually, let's see. Oh no, so no magnet here, but it's machined in such a way that you can put the ball bearing on top of this and it won't fall. One of the most fun puzzles I solved on the channel lately. Seriously, putting it all back. That's one and that is two. And then all I have to do is to reinsert this and bam, the puzzle is reset and Houdini's torture cell is solved. That's it for the Houdini torture cell. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have because this one is one of the best sequential discovery puzzles we've solved on the channel in this price range. I believe it's a must have, especially now as it's available to anyone in the world in very, very good price. At the cost of only 300 yama puzzles, this both looks amazing on the shelf and also the solution is flabbergasting. Mind blowing. Preposterous. No, preposterous is not the word. Extravagant. Mesmerizing. Spectacular. And if you did enjoy this one, I would really appreciate it if you smash the like and subscribe button to join the puzzle game and get bombarded by weekly puzzle content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.